Weekly time frame, we take we have five candles for bullish. Oh, GU, okay. Hold on, let me come back to GU and then let me talk about the GJ. Okay, so weekly time frame. Um, we have five candles. Right, uh, four bullish, but with Kumo span AB, Kijun Sen are very steep. Right, while with other FX pairs, I see in bear market only one bullish candle, Kumo Cloud span AB line flat. Yep, so this is downtrending on the weekly. Right, it's down because Kumo is down, Kijun Sen is also down. Chiko, uh, sorry, Tenkan Sen is down and Chiko span below the candles. So weekly shows it's bearish. And daily, let me check the daily time frame. Okay, this daily time frame is ranging now because, and it's about to break the Kumo. Because Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen flat, the angles of these lines are flat. So it's ranging now. But good sign is that we have the Tenkan Kijun Gold Cross as one of the confirmations for the bullishness. And Chikou Span Breakout as additional uh, confirmation for the bullishness. And the only thing we, you can wait for is the Kumo Breakout. Which is about to happen. I think Kumo Breakout happens Monday. And then the market may go up afterwards. So, so far the market has been uh, retracing on this uh, ascending P wave, ascending wedge, and it broke. So the market may test the previous resistances and the support here too, and then bounce and it goes up. This scenario is possible in this case. And if this happens, this is against the weekly direction. So in this case, since I trade, I am more into um, day to swing trade, I will prefer to take the daily or lower time frames uptrend than the weekly downtrend. I think this is one of the good examples about the multiple time frame directions are different. Yeah, so again, weekly time frame shows it's bearish. Because simply Kumo down, Kijun Sen down. However, daily time frame is about, about to break the Kumo. And let me check the 4 hour also. 4 hour is now retracing back a little bit. Yeah. So, and usually when weekly is down, 4 hour is up, 4 hour was up, the market spikes. Because if you think about it, think about the market, the buyers started to come in here, all the way down on the 25th of September, the buyers start to come. And buyers in the short term have keep holding the buy positions, and sellers are keep losing since the 25th of September, as you can see on the chart pattern. But sellers in the long term are still winning on the weekly basis ever since the 31st of May, the sellers has been winning the trade. So, and this is what's happening here is uh, where the fight between the weekly sellers and 4 hour buyers happening. And that's why it spikes in the lower time frames. Usually in the 5 minute, we see long weeks, fake outs, and the market gets tricky usually in this case. So you may want to have the bigger stop loss to trade or um, wait for the solid confirmations to buy to follow the 4 hour or daily direction in this case. And it looks like the um, yeah, it looks like the weekly Kijun Sen Kumo will be flat next week. So I think the uptrend will be continuous. I quickly calculated the Kijun Sen angle. Kijun Sen takes the last 26 high and low, and if you can back 26, it was here. Chikou Span is 26, and um, Kijun Sen is taking the low, the high here, 
and it's going down. But uh, next week, uh, the the high won't get lower, so that means Kijun Sen become flat, and Senko Span A may be flat also. So Senko Span A is the combination of uh, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen, the mid price of Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen, and shifted 26 candles to the future. So when Kijun Sen goes flat and Tenkan Sen goes flat, then Senko Span A will go flat also. So looks like next week, since this is weekly, next week Kijun Sen will be flat, and the daily Kumo breakout happens, and the market may be bullish. You can also wait for the resistance breakout on a uh, 1.174 uh, Yeah, you can wait for the breakout, and I don't think it's too late to enter there, and expect the market goes to the W top of 1.2290. That will be the plan for next week. Yeah, but this is how you can create the scenarios, build up uh, with the confirmations, building up like this way. So yeah, but today, as of now, we we have to stay away because it's ranging. It's about to break the Kumo, so. We'll come back to this chart next week. Okay, let me see. I see some comments about uh, this pair also. Um, okay. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And in last word, I would like to add this one before ending the video today. And that is improve step by step every day and never try to be successful tomorrow. Because oftentimes I see some traders comes to the forex market or in you know, other markets and they try to be successful as soon as possible. And that motivation is okay, but uh, if you rush to make profits, if you rush to achieve some goal, then uh, you may fail very quickly. Because success only comes based on this continuation of the step-by-step -step effort step-by-step -step improvement every day. So success does not relate to how much you know about the trades, how much you know about the indicators or the markets. The success only comes from this improvement continuously, step-by-step. -step. So even when you're losing, then look back your trades and look for the areas you can improve your trades. And even if you're successful also, Look back your own successful trace and uh, try to find an area to improve your trace. Maybe your profit might be a bit too early, or your break-even timing might be a, too, a bit too early too, or your stop loss was a bit too tight also. So, in both ways, whether it's a losing trace or winning trace, uh, please look back your own trace because that's the only way you can success in the long term. So, thank you for watching. Until the end. If you liked it, please press the like button, and I will see you on the next one. So until then, please stay healthy, and stay safe, and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.